Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I actually thought I'd share with you guys three different ways to do highlights in Photoshop since everyone keeps asking me to do a tutorial on this. I will show the ups and downs for each method and some nifty tricks that could work for all methods. All right, guys, so here in Photoshop, we're going to be using this as a sample project. It's very low effort, but it's fine. It's just for example. So to start off with any method that we'll be using in this video, you're gonna wanna go here, create a new solid, make it white, invert it, and then group it and mask the group. Now that you've done that, we can go in with our first tool, which is the polyagonal lasso tool, which you can find right here. If you long press, it's going to show up down here. What you want to do is you're just going to want to start selecting. So something kind of like this, and then just filling it in as you go. Now, as you could probably see, this is very slow. And as you will later see, it's also very inconsistent. So I personally don't really like this method, but it's good to know because you could combine the method later on. Anyhow, this is the method. And as you can see, the thickness here is just inconsistent. Here we have one pixel here we have like two pixels it's not very good for big consistent stuff so for the second method you actually want to go to your brush and in your brush you're going to want to set the size to between three to six hardness to 100 opacity 100 flow 100 go to window and in window you're going to want to click on brush settings and in brush settings you're going to want to activate shape dynamics and set it to pen pressure once you've done that you could go to your pen tool and with your pen tool what you're just going to want to do is start selecting wherever you want your highlights so let's do something kind of like this maybe sure i think something like this will do um and to show this off what you're just going to want to do is you're going to want to right click and then stroke path make sure it's on brush and not pencil click on simulate pressure and you're good to go click ok and then go to path and disable the path and you're good now this looks all right my problem with it is it's not very customizable it does everything automatically so if you're on a time crunch or have a massive massive um, mob that you gotta cover it's maybe worth it to do it in the quote-unquote automatic way this all leads us to the last method which again goes back to the brush tool and this time we're just going to set it to three pixels this is going to depend on the resolution you're going to be working on i personally like working on 1080p so three pixels is the best for 1080p um you're going to make sure flow is 100 opacity 100 hardness 100 and size is three pixels like i said and what you're going to want to do is you're going to zoom in and while pressing shift you're going to just going to want to click while again keeping your finger on the shift key you're going to want to continue doing your highlights now if you're going to want to move to a different spot you're going to have to release the shift key and then just re-click it whenever you want to go back so in my opinion this method is the best it's like the fastest and it is pretty customizable you could even go with the lasso tool later on and just do something like this maybe anyhow now that we've looked at all the methods here are things that apply to all the methods the first thing i want to go over is actually tapering so what i like to do is i like to go and make my hardness on zero and then flow to like say 20 percent make sure your brush is black actually go to the group mask and then you could just kind of start tapering things kind of like this maybe I don't know. Um, and so this gives it this kind of like faded look, which I think gives it a really, really nice and clean gradient. So actually my next tip is a lot of times you're going to want to add a bit of color to the highlights. So to do that, what I like to do is I like to create a new solid, make it whatever color. So I'm going to make this kind of pinkish and then just clip mask it to the highlights. And you can just go here and delete it, whatever you need. It's really important to remember that your highlights actually need to be brighter than the background. So if you go like this, oh, uh, you can see it's kind of a bit too dark. So we're going to light it up a bit, just a tidbit. And it looks nice again let's go back to the normal view and as you can see we've got pretty much perfect highlights if you enjoyed this video leave a like feel free to subscribe and i guess i'll see you next time